we had a big runoff in the spring yeah. and there were a lot of the uh, trees and branches that are likely around dead along the, the course of the stream washed down and right in the corner of the fish ladder where it makes it turn to go to the final basin, it was caught there. Yeah. And it was right in the little cutout where the fish would swim through instead of jumping over the wall. Right. I had a concern about that, that any fish that were coming up the ladder to spawn, it might be blocked off for them or they'd have a hard time getting through. Yeah. So I contacted the Asable and you contacted the MTO and I came down two, three times, still there, came down again, bang, clean as a whip, gone. I have been involved with this, so maybe that's why I called you guys originally when I had these concerns to get this ball rolling and get this rectified. I wanted to make sure something got done and it didn't get done uh, and I was very impressed. They cleaned it up and I was happy for that. Grew up the area, used to go down to my grandma's which was about a mile away and actually fish in the creek at my grandma's place with a fish hook fashioned out of a safety pin <laughs> and catching chub in the creek. We bring them to the house, grandma would clean them and fry them for us. I don't know if I need a chub today, but <laughs> we did as a kid. It starts up in Zurich, this yeah, creek. Yeah. I never ever realized there were trout in this creek. My boys, I had three boys, they had friends that come over here and play in the creek and actually scoop fish out of the creek with their hands. I doubted them. There's no rainbow <laughs> trout in this little creek. Uh, there's no way. So I came down here one time and I witnessed in the spring, I witnessed the rainbow making these dives over the hall. It was about a, I would say about a six foot waterfall and they come out of that murky water. So that was pretty cool. I became very interested in that, watching these fish come up. You know what? There's so many people that don't know about this. I have a friend and he says, is that what all that construction was down there? A fish ladder? I had no idea. And he only lives a mile down the road. I think there's a lot more concern about runoff. A big rain that we just had a couple days ago. You can see how the fields are flooded. It's got to go someplace. It's going out to the lake you know, and through these drains. Like this year, the last couple years, I've walked the beach in the spring and you wouldn't believe the plastics and all this microplastics. I think people have to really pay attention to that. Now, what do you think is your role as a person in the community? Do you think that any of this would have happened if you hadn't called? There's a lot of people that did know there was trout in here, but I was genuine, genuinely concerned about what was happening there. I do monitor this creek. It would be not possible for us to be everywhere all the time. Oh, for sure. Yeah. It helps to have the community partners notice things yeah. and then obviously follow up. These fish are really specific about where they go. You'll be amazed how many fish are up there. I am amazed. I'm amazed already. Yeah. I guess it's amazing because we are not accustomed to thinking about these creeks having a natural function maybe. Is exactly. That, I really want to thank you for your time today. But even more, I really want to thank you for your ongoing commitment to this. It's really been something that was near and dear to me. After watching the first fish, my kids telling me that there's rainbow here. And I lived, what, two and a half, three and a, three and a half miles from here, basically all my life. To so actually see those rainbow, those green, blue torpedoes come out of the water and make that green. There's rainbow in this little screen, and let's keep it that way.